life. Born in 1967, Jason Statham is actually one of the youngest members of the Expendables Ensemble at 44 years of age. For a little perspective, 1967 was the year his elder co-star Arnie won the Mr. Universe title for the first time. <laughs> He's also had one of the shortest careers. His first role dates back to just the late 90s. After 12 years in Britain's national diving squad, Statham scored a gig as a model, where he was spotted and cast by Guy Ritchie as Bacon in the 1998 hit Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Right, let's sort the buyers from the spires, the needy from the greedy, and those who trust me from the ones who don't. Growing up around a lot of shady black market types, saw Statham well equipped to play a streetwise con artist, and after the success of Lock Stock, Statham went on to star as lead in Richie's even more successful Snatch. You took the jam out of your donut. These films catapulted Statham into the sorts of action films he's known for today. In 2002, he found a winner as driver Frank Martin in The Transporter, an absurd martial arts flick where the producers spent a great deal of time finding ways to get him to, well, take his shirt off. As skilled with a car as he has a gun, his foot, or a tire iron. Statham has returned as Frank Martin on two more occasions, built upon the same pillars as the first, i.e. having Jason Statham kick a lot of people and having him do impossible things in European cars. Statham has since dabbled in more comedic and more dramatic roles, but his bread and butter remains blue collar action, where he gets to scowl and fight people, scowl and shoot people, hit people with cars, smash people with sporting equipment, kill people with cops, crush people with chairs, stab people with spears, and deflate their basketballs. You still not deflate all your balls. So Jason, what's it like being amongst these giants of the action genre? Jason, where are you going? The workshop and the service truck. For more on The Expendables 2, stick with IGN.com.